urinalysis, what is that? A urine analysis, or as we call it a UA, mm -hmm. is a test that we order that will give us a lot of different information. Uh, it's going to tell us whether the patient has blood in their urine, whether the patient has any sort of inflammatory cells indicative of, can of uh, infections or cancers. We look for protein, which is indicative of kidney disease. We look for many different things. And so you can consider it almost a workhorse for the basic urologic workup of many different things that we treat. Is that similar to a urine culture? The urine culture is more specific to infection. Okay. So when a urine culture is, you take the urine and you grow it out on a Petri dish. Mm -hmm. um, that will then tell you there's any bacteria, and if so, what type of bacteria, and you can use it as well to treat it appropriately, uh, treat an infection appropriately with antibiotics. Now, blood work. Do you need blood work when it comes to detecting uh, incontinence? Not necessarily the incontinence. Now, we talked, or they talked about in the, in the video, uh, that this may be indicative of other systemic diseases. Right. And so one could consider ordering blood work for some of those things. Now, there's something called an orodynamic testing. What yes. is orodynamic testing? A urodynamic testing is a test that's going to allow us to evaluate the function and or the dynamics of the urinary tract. How well is the plumbing working? That's essentially what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. and this is what we're talking about. This is all plumbing. Uh, how well does your bladder function? What's the capacity like? How much urine can you hold? Is it sensitive? Do we see the bladder start to spasm without the patient knowing or trying to control that? Uh, can you see the incontinence? Uh, so it gives us a lot of information. A little bit more invasive than the urine analysis, but something, again, that we do use quite often when we're dealing with urologic treatments of, of abnormalities.